Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Drama Orama Online. I'm Mrs. Combs, and I'm so excited to share this time with you today. So, remember to have your journals ready, and let's get started. For today's warm up, we are going to look at two different photographs and decide how we feel when we look at those photos. Then we are going to walk about the space in neutral and slowly show that emotion in our faces and bodies by morphing from neutral to that emotion. So right now, for example, I'm going to slowly morph my facial expression from neutral to happy. And action. And neutral. Okay, so to recap, we are gonna look at a photograph emotionally connect to that photograph, then walk about the space in neutral, slowly morphing our faces and our bodies to that emotion. Are you ready? Let's look at the first photo. What do you see in this photo? There's snow on the ground, and snow on the trees. The sun is shining. And there's no one around. It looks cold. How do you feel when you look at this photo? Connect to that feeling and get ready to morph. Find a safe space to move around. Then, Stand in neutral. Walk about the space in neutral. Connect to how you felt when you looked at the photo. Slowly morph that feeling in your face and body. Walk about in that feeling. Maintain that feeling in your face and body. Freeze and neutral. Let's look at the last photo. What do you see in this photo? There's a beach, gentle waves in the ocean, and a blue sky with fluffy clouds. No one is on this beach. It looks warm. How do you feel when you look at this photo? Connect to that feeling and get ready to morph. Find a safe space to move around. Then, stand in neutral. Walk about the space in neutral. Connect to how you felt when you looked at the photo. Slowly morph that feeling in your face and body. Walk about in that feeling. Maintain that feeling in your face and body. Freeze and neutral. Very good. Today, we will explore emotional connections in artwork, focusing on sculptures created by Augusta Savage. Augusta Savage was a brilliant sculptor during the Harlem Renaissance of the 1920s and 1930s. She also fought against racism. Her sculptures were bold, energetic, and emotional, and won her a fellowship to study sculpture 
in Paris, France. She was also an influential teacher. She opened the Savage Studio of Arts and Crafts and also founded the Harlem Community Arts Center where she cultivated a new generation of African-American artists. We are going to look at photos of her sculptures, make emotional connections to those sculptures, and then show those emotions in our faces and bodies as we walk about the space, morphing from neutral to that emotion. Are you ready? Let's look at our first sculpture. What do you see in this sculpture? Who do you think he is? Look at his facial expression. How do you think he's feeling? How do you feel when you look at this sculpture? Connect to that feeling and get ready to morph. Find a safe space to move around, then stand in neutral. Walk about the space in neutral. Connect to how you felt when you looked at the sculpture. Slowly morph that feeling in your face and body. Walk about in that feeling. Maintain that feeling in your face and body. Freeze and neutral. Let's look at our second sculpture. What do you see in this sculpture? Who do you think they are? The artist Augustus Savage is looking at this sculpture. Look at their facial expressions and their body positions. How do you think they're feeling? How do you feel when you look at this sculpture? Connect to that feeling and get ready to morph. Find a safe space to move around, then stand in neutral. Walk about the space in neutral. Connect to how you felt when you looked at that sculpture. Slowly morph that feeling in your face and body. Walk about in that feeling. Maintain that feeling in your face and body. Freeze and neutral. Let's look at our last sculpture. What do you see in this sculpture? Who do you think they are? Look at their facial expressions and body expressions. How do you think they're feeling? How do you feel when you look at this sculpture? Connect to that feeling and get ready to morph. Find a safe space to move around, then Stand in neutral. Walk about the space in neutral. Connect to how you felt when you looked at the sculpture.
slowly morph that feeling in your face and body. Walk about in that feeling. Maintain that feeling in your face and body. Freeze. And neutral. Very good. Today, we were able to look at photos of sculptures created by Augusta Savage and make emotional connections to those sculptures. We also learned a little bit about her life as an artist, an activist, and a teacher. By exploring emotional connections to her art, we were not only able to understand what her sculptures mean to us, but also experience a deep appreciation for the artist and her work. It's time for today's journal prompt. I want you to think about the three sculptures that you looked at today. And think about which one was your favorite one or the one that made you feel the most. Draw a picture of that sculpture. And then I want you to write one sentence that describes how you felt when you looked at that sculpture. And remember, use details. Thank you so much for sharing your emotional connections to Augusta Savage's sculptures today. Until next time, we'll sing goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.